Hey, what's up everybody? It's your neighborly RT Baja here today. Hanging out today, playing some more Ark Survival Evolved. I got a big episode planned today. Been getting a ton of material ready to go for. We're going to get into guns. I got 600, a little over 600 metal, tons of gunpowder, some narcotics for trank arrows, and been going around looking at some drops and got me a few attachments we're going to try out today. Also got this ramshackle shotgun blueprint that I might try out today as well. Another thing I want to do, been wearing armor, this hide armor for a long time. I think it's time that we step up to chitin. Got my chitin somewhere, oop, there it is. Grab me a couple stacks of that. Where? Don't need that meat in there. Shooting you, you in there? Titan. Craft that, craft that, craft that, and that, and that. Dang, just enough materials to do that. And while that's doing up, go ahead and get us a long neck rifle going. And a simple pistol. I've always liked a simple pistol because ammo is real cheap for it. I don't think it does as much damage as the crossbows, but it shoots faster than crossbows, and ammo is just super cheap for it. Go ahead and grab our chitin back out of here. Get that, get that, get that, get that, and get that. I guess another gun's I made. I just want to go ahead and put all this stuff on. Go ahead and dye it up to it. Change my colors again. Then I'm going to keep it green and black. Let's see here how I want to do this. Do I want to do green with black trim or black with green trim? I think I'm going to do it black with green trim. Figured it'd look pretty cool. It'd be something a little different. Here, do that green. Yeah, I'll do that green too. I think I'll do that little piece there, black, kind of break that up a little bit. Do that black, do that black. That looks wicked. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. Get that pencil on it, paint it up too. Do that black, do you black. Okay, it's a stitching, okay. You green, you green, and you green. Oh, this is looking baller. I'm really liking that, that black and green. Hmm. Not a whole lot of green to that. I'll, I'll try it out, see how it looks. Might go back again to the top of these shoes, green. No? No, I'll stick with that. It looks pretty good. Finally, the gloves. Do you black? Green stitching. And green hands. Oh, I like that a lot. And look, I really like that. When that, that up all my other little deals green and black. And I don't think... Mm, nah, I might show y'all all this in my uh, previous episode. I don't think I showed y'all the pike in the previous episode. That's a ramshackle pike I found in the drop. Stick my hide back in here. If it'll all fit. And it will not. Cloth. We'll just drop all this cloth. 
since we've now upgraded, we can change out the spares too. Now for the guns. Now I should have kept that uh dies on me. I could have died them up. Take the take you out. Take you out. Put y'all right there. There was some of the attachments. So oh, let's see if I can't put this scope on oh I can put the scope on the pistol. I don't know if I want to do that though. I, I tried out. Got a laser attachment. Flashlight. I'll grab it. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, though. Go ahead and get us some ammo going as well. Hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and craft 200 of those. 200 of those. Then we'll go back in and get the tranquilizers. While that's making up, I'll go ahead and show you all some of the off-camera work I've been doing. Got a new Parasaur. Level 77. I forget what level of tank it was when I dropped it. But yeah, we got one better than our poor dead one over there. Like I said, with every death, we'll get something better. And we got something better. Whoa. Well, that's something down here. Got algae, a little ichthy. That's about as close to perfect tame as I was gonna get so far. It was level 30 something. Well, no, I think it was 40. Level 40 something. And I tamed it out with the uh, prime meat. I don't. It, these ichthys are passive tames. I'm not real crazy about passive taming because the dinos move around a lot. But this in here, this in here was a special case. It was uh, stuck in a little pool where it couldn't really go very far. So I'm real happy to get that. Get some with a little speed. Got a got a shark. It was level 80 something, I think, when I dropped it. Level 80, level 60, somewhere along there. But I ended up taking came out with just regular old meat. It didn't didn't have a source of prime anywhere. It didn't have anything I could go get prime with. The raptor, which was pretty pretty high level, level 96. It's Stats originally were 880 health, 390 stamina, 168 weight, 181.4 melee, and 120% movement speed. Which this is something I've wanted to get for a long time. I've really wanted to get a raptor. Been too long since I got a raptor. And I've been doing a little leveling up on it. Melee bump in health. Uh, did a little bit to melee damage. I think I upped its stamina some. No, not enough its stamina. I hope it's weight so it can carry me. I don't like it. I like having my dinos have at least 200 weight to where they can pack me around with, with uh, all my gear. So here the melee. Yeah, I'm up the melee a little bit too. Then, right over here, I've been getting myself a little kibble farm going up in here. Got an OV right there. Go ahead and introduce y'all. The egg static. He was level eight when I first started taming him. He's got got a couple level ups. Uh, I think I just don't pump movement speed. I mean, these over raptor aren't really good for much other than uh for eggs. So maybe whenever we get find our forever home, which I have found, I have found our forever home. I've been uh, working on that a little bit, getting build materials and stuff ready to go for that. We might start working on, on there probably next episode. Ooh, level up. Awesome. Also need some water. But yeah, we might get to work on that forever home later on. I'll probably, if I got time this episode, I'll take you over there. Kind of getting everything laid out the way I want it. Signs, stuff like that. Just figuring out where I want everything at. Ooh, eggs. Pick you up, pick you up. Ooh, more eggs. Thank you. Thank you for y'all's generous donations. They will be put to good use. But yeah, when they give me a little old kibble farm going, I was planning on getting me a garden going on a, one of these rafts. 
I got a raft here, and I got another raft done building over in a storage box over there. But then, then we're not going to worry about that because we are getting ready to move, getting ready for, to go on to our forever home. So I just kind of scrapped that episode for now. It was update day today. We actually got greenhouse build materials, which I think is going to be really, really interesting to work with. So I can't find it. Yep, here we go. Greenhouse wall, ceilings. That's gonna be be real fun to play around with. Real interested in getting all that. Uh, they had the Gallimimus drop today, so if I can, if I happen to find a Gallimimus while we're out, we'll stop and check that out. I'll probably even tame it. Uh, there was a couple other things. Go ahead and learn to saddle while I'm at it, since I'm here. There was something else that uh, dropped today. I want to say it was a new armor piece, but I just don't know. Hmm. Go ahead and learn this. Learn that. Learn that too. We're going to need those at our forever home. Scuba gear. I can't wait to get in that scuba gear. Whoa. That must be the... Oh, yeah. That's right. The prod. The cattle prod came out. There's the armor. Looks like right gear. That's cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and level up. Um, might bump more fortitude? Maybe? No. Bump some more weight so we can carry stuff for when we're building. Let's go ahead and put these dodo eggs away. You found me a turtle egg while I was out. Uh, dodo eggs from the kibble farm. Couple of dialogue eggs from in there. A uh, packy egg that I actually found uh, right out just a couple steps away from my base. Okay, yeah, we got. I think that's all the ammo we got built up for now. Go ahead and get some narcotics going. Mm, ammo. Trank arrows. Trank darts, I mean. Let's see here. Five pounds for fifty simple bullets. Whereas ten pounds for fifty stone arrows. I think that's a pretty good trade off. Cause weight has been a big issue for me right now. I have nothing I can really carry no whole lot. So I'll go ahead and grab me you know what? I can grab me two stacks. Man, shoot two stacks the weight just one stack of arrows. I'll take that. Go ahead and pull this bad boy here out. Whoop. Now we're getting dangerous now. See if we can find something to play around with. Ooh, that's a 112 Master Pythagus. Gonna leave you alone. Might gonna tame him later. See if we can't find our first victim. What about you? Nope, low 44. I ain't gonna mess with that dude. There's normally a couple stuck turtles up in here somewhere. We'll try on trial bike. That was, it was like six shots. Level 44 trial bite. Which I don't, I ain't gonna be using no pistol on that um, trial bites very often. Go ahead and reload. See if we can't find something real. Dilo. Oh dang, one shot killed at level 28. I like that. Go ahead and reload. I hate being, hate being low on ammo in an emergency, so I like to keep all my ammos. I'm full in case it takes more than just a couple of shots to kill something. We got back when I played Call of Duty real hard. I always keep a full clip on me. Boom. Check out this trike here. Go ahead and reload again. What were you, homeboy? Whoa, that's a little 104 male trike. Ooh. Do I want it? 
Why did all of a sudden get brighter? So much be coming up. I might come back for that dude. I want him. I need to get some trike eggs going. Had a couple of trike eggs, but I'm using them to try and tame that uh over raptor. Yeah, we go to turtle right here. Level eight. Bringing Wild West back here now. So that was what, nine shots? I think. So yeah, for, for a little small stuff, this pistol won't be bad. Like I said, I'm getting chased by the angry raptor. Now I might can fend myself off fairly well. Here we go, trike. Real good test. How many shots? Make sure there's no other trikes around. Them guys. Them guys stick together real good. See what level are you? Level 8? Oh man, it's already pretty bloody. Just one clip. Man. I'm liking my little pistol. Go ahead and get back to the base. Imagine my uh, trank arrows or trank darts are uh, done making up. I'm really, really happy to get into uh, these guns, especially some trank darts, because I'll finally be able to start uh, getting them higher level tames. Like an RG, I need to get me an RG. Uh, Dodic, I need to get me a Dodic for our forever home. Because I want to do it, make our forever home out of stone. Don't need to, but I would like to. Uh, get an Anki, you know, for metal, because we're, since we're finally getting the bullets, we're going to need a lot of metal. Reload. Need to paint, paint my guns up. What were you? You weren't there before. Hmm, six shots. He took fewer shots than the last one. Oh, another trike. Level let's see what we can do to a running target. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So yeah, a lot faster than trying to defend yourself with a crossbow. Let's see here. Ooh, what's our ammo switch looking like? 50. Yeah, I'm going to take another stack of simple bullets. The trank darts, they are 10 pounds a stack. So I won't be gaming much with from the trank arrows. But, I think these are a lot more potent than these, uh, trank arrows. So I'll go ahead and grab those. We still got some bullets left over. What did we run out of? Still got narcotics. Aw, oh, do, does it take more gunpowder? No, we got gunpowder. Metal. Dang. We start off this episode with over 600 metal. Now we're down to one. Just, ah, metal. Dang. Looks like the shotgun's gonna be a different episode. That stinks. Run over here to my little die chest. Get, get my dies back. I ain't got like nine blacks. Man. This is my die chest. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and stick my arrows back in here. Some my crossbows in there. Cut back on some of that weight. Got, got a lot of meat. I'll go ahead and stick this in the meat chest. Right, you Gotta keep my dinos fed up. Don't need any more dying on me, especially not now since we're about to be moving on. I forgot to show y'all my my new pterodon right up there. Another pretty high level guy. 
Once again, not a perfect aim. Bit of a trick trying to get up on top of there. Nano Green Streak, uh, he went down to level 92. Wait, no, he tamed out at level 92. He tamed out 92. Go ahead and bring this up here. Health of 756, not too bad. Stamina of 630, that's decent. Weight of 189, which it, he ain't gonna be really much of a weight bird. That's why I got the other trained on for. Uh, melee of 201, which I thought was pretty good for a Tyranodon, level 92. Then speed, 136 and a half. That's what they all start out with. Has she made me any eggs yet? Oh! Any eggs? Still no eggs. I'm not pretty sure would have laid me an egg by now. So did I grab all the attachments out of here? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, well, we're gonna go take that, uh, take Green Streak out. You know what? Since the, uh, Gallimimus dropped, go ahead and grab me a couple stacks of berries here. Take on the trip. Might find us some Gallimimus out there somewhere. Man, that's my gamma, that's awfully bright. That's better. Go ahead and eat before I pass out. Dang it. Thank you. See, you got any meat on you? Yeah, you got some meat. That'll blast you. So I think we're going to go over to the Forever Home, show y'all where I'm going to build at, what I got planned. Then we'll, tr then we'll go play around with these guns. So I'll bring y'all back. I don't ever find something nice to tame. Probably a Gallimimus. We'll find something tame or get to Forever Home. I'll bring out right back. BRBs. Well, here we are, guys. This part I'm going to build my Forever Home. Now, this little spot I call Stonehenge. Let me show y'all what on the map. Right down there. Oh, you can see where I'm at there on Stonehenge. I don't think how you spell Stonehenge. But, uh, yeah, I figured this would be a pretty nice little place to build. Because you can get all your dinos pretty safely up off the ground. If I want to phrase up. Thank you. Go ahead and get off, show you a little look around here. Plenty of Tyranodons around here. What level are you, by the way? 32. I'll pass. But, you know, it's a pretty remote location. No real big dinos around here. You know, you get the occasional Sarko over there. But other than that, it's really no major carnivores around here. Which I'm wanting to use this this particular spot right here. I'm going to be building all in this little area right in here. You, know, you can see different signs I got set up all around there, all for different purposes. Like this here is going to be my dino staging area. What I'm going to try doing is setting up pillars and uh building this here, I have pillars and ceilings, because as uneven as it is, foundations just wouldn't be a good good thing to use here. So I like to get it off flat. Right here, clear out some of those rocks down there, set me up an elevator right here. That way I can get some of my uh, bigger dinosaur, dinosaurs up here. I won't be able to get no Bronto up here, probably wouldn't be able to get T-Rex up here. But like my Trix and my Parasaurs, I can be able to get them up here pretty easily. Okay, get rid of that, pull out... It's a pistol. I think I actually pulled out the rifle. This spot right here, then was gonna be the hatchery. Nope, this spot here is gonna be for a garden. Which, uh, yeah, would have been a good spot to put the garden right down there. I can, from my uh, piping right down there, send water all the way up here. And I'm gonna build these out, these little spot platforms out pretty big. It's gonna be hanging over. I'm gonna have pillars going all the way down to the ground. So I'm gonna try. Try using bridges to connect everything, which that's going to be the problem because we're going to get everything lined up perfect for it to work. I've never, never built anything like this. It's going to be a big, big build. This spot here, I think, it's going to be the hatchery. If I can get up there, yeah, this is going to be the hatchery right here. I'm just going to build 
Uh, a fairly big house. Now I'm gonna put some air conditioners in, have a generator set up, so I can hatch just about any dinosaur in here that I want. It's here, then I'm gonna use it to main house workshop location. Yeah, house and workshop location. This is where I'm gonna build a house at. Not gonna be the most optimal setup because uh, all my dinosaurs are gonna be staged over there, so I have to bring them from the bird roost over here or to the garden over here. Well, to the garden or to the hatchery, then over here. Which I might just build me a little bridge going straight across from here. Be a pretty neat little setup. I just hate having to go down the water. That's what I really like. I like having that water, that little pond right down there. I think it makes this a little pretty little area. Over there, little island. I'm sure y'all saw that uh, Gigantopithecus over there, my little base. I'll probably set him over there, build a fence around that whole area, and set him to wander. He can pick berries. Um, I'll probably send some of my dinos some of my bigger dinosaurs over there, set them to wander. And uh, probably neutral if anything anything slips through. Or anything, nothing should slip through the fence, you know, just in case. But yeah, I like having my uh, dinosaurs wander around. And have them out of the way. Over there, they'll be pretty well out of the way. This here is going to be the bird roost. Well, flyer's roost. Might do me a little double decker right here. You know, a platform right here, then a platform up there. I think that'd be pretty cool, because if I ever get a Quetzal, them guys take up a lot of space. Which is probably, not probably some of the Quetzals up there. But yeah, this is where I'm going to try building that. Who knows, maybe in the future, my branch out start going out that way. Don't know what for. But I was to see if I could. Another little spot I could use to land flyers. Yeah, I'd probably use this spot here. For, well, I'll probably use this right here as my little flyer, uh, kind of like my hanger. No, a whole lot of room. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure everything out as I get to building it. Except a little storage chest right here where I already got some stuff put together. 50 wooden pillars and 47 thatch roofs. I want to try getting 100 roofs. So that uh, I can at least get the staging area done. Because that's going to be the main thing is the staging area. Everything's going to branch off from it. But yeah, that's going to be my base. I think it's going to be nice. It's going to be a big undertaking. But I think it's going to be worth it. See if any Gallimimus down here. I, on the way over here, I was looking out for a Gallimimus, but I didn't find any. Would really like to find a Gallimimus. Gallimimus, however you say it. Dilos. If I were a betting man, I'd, I'd bet they'd have been right here along these beaches. I don't know. I'm going to take a look around so I can't find Gallimimus. Gallimimus, how you say it? See if I can't find anything, I'll bring y'all back once I find something. Bring y'all right back. Well, you guys, I've been flying around for a while, but I haven't found any Gallimimus. I've checked uh, the swamps, I've checked the jungles, I've checked cleared areas. The only place I haven't checked is the, uh, the snow biome. But I don't think uh, any Gallimimus would spawn there. I could be wrong, but I, I ain't got any uh, free of curry. I don't have any uh, fur armor, so... I can't go up in there for very long and check. It's weird. I figured, uh... I figured I would have found one by now. I've been seeing all kinds of over-raptors. I keep on seeing over in the distance, thinking it's a Gallimimus, and I've come right up to it, and nothing but disappointment. So, I'll keep an eye out for them. I figure since we're right here, a bunch of herbivores right here, but you ain't following me. You passive? Yeah, you passive. 
sure we go ahead and check out these uh, different attachments for these guns. Now for the uh, tranked gun, go ahead and uh, fill it with tranks. Reload. Now these trank guns, I don't know if it'll let you put any attachments on it. Yeah, I can put attachments on it, but then it takes for the tranks. So that ain't no good. Now for the scope, can I use a flashlight? Nope. How's about a laser sight? No. See here, I'll use the laser sight. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Art shot. Pretty neat little deal. Wish I could use it on the trank guns. Dang it, Ark. Try the pistol here. Miss. Gotcha. Wonder if I can use this uh, scope as kind of like a telescope. Nope, don't think I can. No, won't show me the level or anything it is. Ooh, it's a 69 mil trike. I'm gonna leave that bad boy there alone. Dang it. Dang it. Gotcha. Am I going to move? There we go. Pressed the wrong keys. I don't know why I did that. Level 32. Now I'll pass. What level are you? 32. We'll get reload. I wonder how far away. Dang it. We need water. I wonder how far away it is accurate. Man, I need, need some place a little more open. He's stuck. That was a hit. We can't go farther back. If I killed that dodo or not, I didn't see no death message. See, can I hit this turtle? See if I can kill it from here. Hmm, I don't think I'm hitting it. Well, I don't know, it might be. And yeah, it's getting dark. Why well, my cap lock's on? Gamma three. Man. If I'm hitting him, he's stout. He's on the weight. Well, that was a turtle. But he has pretty good range for a pistol. Take a look at some of these other attachments. Check out that flashlight, see how good it does. Wow, that's pretty bright. It's funny just how bright. Bring it down to stock gamma. Lights up pretty well. No, give me your hide. I need to hide. Okay. Reload, turn the flashlight on. I like the flashlight. If I if I didn't use gamma commands, that'd be a nice little piece to have. Like I said, I, I use gamma commands. But for PV 
PvP stuff? That be... Yeah, I don't know if PvP kind of give away your position with that flashlight. I don't know. If you were to do stuff uh, inside structures, you no, know, like raiding, something stealth is uh, not exactly useful for. How far can this shine? Shine that pretty far. Free water. Can't see Jack, though. Agma. Gamma. Three. Yeah, I think that fog's freaking rolling in. Can't see Jack. Yeah, the uh, layers side would be pretty nice. You no, know, you didn't have crosshairs turned on. I like my crosshairs. So I got that turned on. See, I'm really liking these attachments, but I'm probably just going to keep the uh, scope on the pistol. Wish I could put an attachment on the uh, long neck rifle. Probably put a scope on it, too. Or the laser sight. Oh, nope, nope, crap. Dang it, Green Street, come here. Okay, that, that fog's pretty bad, I'm just gone. I'm gonna sit here until, uh, it clears out. I hate flying in the fog, so... I'm gonna let the fog clear out, and I'll bring y'all back whenever I... Whenever the fog clears out, I'll probably, uh... Fly back to the base, see if I can't find any, uh... Gallimimuses. Gallimimuses. Gallimimusai? Gallimimusai? Huh. Wonder how you spell that. Anywho, I'll bring y'all back whenever conditions improve. BRBs.